I'm Kelly Rose Jackson and I'm a Year 12 student at Ranella East High School. We're the students from Wollonga High School. Hi, my name's Chris. I'm starting Year 12 at Rianda. We're Year 12 from Chris Christie's High School. <laughs> drop out of school because they can't handle the pressure and the stress involved with year 12. Yeah, people falling behind in their work, can't catch up really. Yeah, but at the same time other people don't need the qualifications for year 12, they can get, just go straight into their chosen jobs. Yeah, but sometimes they don't get like the support at home, like they could uh, have other people relying on themselves. Yeah, and if the family's not there to support them, it makes it really hard to do all your work. What is your message to students as they embark on their year 12 studies? My message to students would be pretty simple. It would be um, get organised, um, take your study really seriously, um, ask your teachers for help because they're actually there to um, make sure that you achieve your best. Um, seek clarification if you don't know the answers and certainly um, work on your IT skills because IT now I, I believe is a way that students can um, um, do things faster and quicker and, and better and um, by doing by, by using the IT they can link into the to the worldwide learning experience not just the one that happens at school. Well basically I think I'd rather do it for self-achievement. Like my parents didn't finish year 12. I don't think they got that far but yeah I'd like to do it for my own personal goals. And I haven't really got a somewhere to go in life but I'd like to finish year 12 to get my say to my TER so that I can get university or TAFE or wherever I want to go as a pathway so I think it's better for my future. Oh well um I'd like to say that I've got can get something out of all the years I've done at school just not to like drop out and have nothing and I want to be an electrician and uh well if I finish year 12 I'll have a better chance to get a job. I want to go to university and hopefully study engineering so I want to get a high TER. I think in the future you're going to need year 12 to get a job because all your qualifications and stuff are just going to get higher and I just want to be able to say that I've done it. So Tony, what do you see as the biggest obstacle for students in finishing year 12? I think the main things are probably balancing the commitments that they have. Um, many of them have um, sporting commitments and family commitments. Um, many of them work part time which requires you know, quite a bit of their, their time away from, away from study. So getting that, that balance right uh, is a real obstacle. Uh, the other thing is that at Year 12 we tend to find that there's increased expectations on them in terms of the subjects that they're doing mm -hmm. and, um, and the jump up from Year 11 is quite significant. They need to be able to manage their time effectively um, and uh, keep themselves organised. So we, we try to put in place a range of, of uh, support for them through a partial care program that we run, through Year 12 orientation program, um, through their home group teachers and through counselling services. So we try to support them in those ways to try to get them uh, to remain focused on, uh, on the priorities. I believe that the reason for some Year 12s to drop out would be a motivational issue. Let's say Year 8 or Year 11, cruise through, learn new things, but Year 12s, you've got to start studying hard, and for some people that's really hard because you've got to knuckle down and some people can't do it. Um, I think some people just, they don't try hard enough early on in the year, then they fall behind and they find the work too complicated to catch up, so they just, yeah. It's easy for them just to go out and work and to keep studying. Um, probably maybe because they, like, Year 12 might not be what they could, like, lead them to their jobs and stuff like that, so they could go do something else, like at TAFE or something, find another. Well, yeah. Some people might just have a general dislike of school and anything related to authority figures. What is your message to students as they embark on their Year 12 studies? Stay on track. That's the, the biggest thing. Don't get behind. What we see over and over again is that those students who are absent for some reason or just don't get work completed, um, it may be in more than one subject, it can be in a number of subjects, 
and it becomes a snowball. And the more that they are behind, the less inclined they are to put in the huge effort that's required to catch up, and it just grows and grows and grows until it becomes a, an avalanche that buries them. Well, I think for me, it's just I don't want to be labelled as a dropout and I want to get somewhere in life. So. Yeah, I want to go to your school, so you have to do your 12 to get something like that. Um, I want to join the Army and there's a higher chance of me getting into the Army with the year 12. I'd like to have a sustainable future. Yeah, I'd like to go on to uni, you know, get a good career and all that, become really su successful in life. What's your message to Year 12 um, as they start the year? I would say the key to success is to be absolutely totally organised. Um, have a system for keeping all your papers organised for each subject. Have a system for managing the deadlines and for um, chunking up the little bits of work so that by the time you reach the deadline you've done most of the work. Um, and having a supportive family. Don't be a dropout! Don't be a dropout! Don't be a dropout. <laughs> <laughs>